Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Tanks. Another day, another video. And I am back with some more epic battles. Uh, some more epic action, because you know how many epic battles uh, you guys have been uh, sending to me. This is just mind-blowing. And uh, today I am going to show you one battle with Object 260. Maybe some of you have noticed the trend on my channel lately, uh, which is I try to cover as many different tanks as possible. And at the moment my focus is on tanks that you haven't seen on my channel for a very long time. And I actually do not remember when you saw 260 on my channel uh, before this episode. It has to be over one year ago at least, if not two years ago. Maybe a year and a half or something like that. Well, anyways, it has been a long time uh, since you saw uh, this uh, tier 10 reward beast on my channel. Uh, IS-7, it is like a child of IS-7 and IS-4 or something like that. I don't know how people uh, like to call this tank. Uh, but it looks more like a defender now, if I'm going to think about it. Yeah, just cut off those uh, spoilers over here and you get one defender. Frontal armor is kind of the same as well. Okay, anyways, this battle is played by Novikov 1986. First shot into the RHM Borshik Waffentrager does damage as well. Beautiful. Reload speed is fast enough to put yet another shot into that Borshik while receiving one shot from Panther 88. What do you know that Panther 88 was actually able to penetrate Novikov? And with standard rounds. What is this? Is this real life? T49 is going to back up because our guys are moving in as you can see from the minimap but of course you cannot see anything from the minimap when the size was for ants. Bloody ants. Sorry guys. I know how mad you, uh, some of you can be if minimap is not uh, big enough and I understand. If I'm going to talk about the minimap, you would like to see what I'm talking about as well. Beautiful snapshot into the pooper, and uh, you were able to put that Panther 88 on fire as well. Well done, Noviko. Uh, moving in, ignoring the Panther 88, but seems like ignoring the Panther 88 was actually kind of a mistake, uh, because uh, that Panther is still alive. Uh, one shot into the turret of the TVP does uh, 451 damage. Okay, trying to run away into the tracks. Over 500 damage, always beautiful to see uh, those rolls. Uh, ram tracked, <laughs> as expected. Uh, what was the penetration, by the way? Let's see. Uh, 260 millimeters of penetration and 440 average damage. Okay, so no Novikov over here in the north side of the map uh, was super aggressive, did really good work. Uh, 3400 damage done so far already. Uh, picked up one kill and uh, the score is still equal, by the way. 8 to 8. Uh, Löwe on Novikov's right, you have to uh, be careful about that Löwe as well, you have to be aware of that Löwe. Or is this guy AFK? No, he cannot be AFK. Or are you full HP and yep, this guy is most definitely AFK. So, let's kill that AFK lover real quickly, because let's not waste any time watching him doing that. And I wonder what uh, our D-54 and D-44-100 were doing while uh, Noviko was killing AFK lover Because I didn't see, I actually didn't see any shots from those guys. They were simply standing over there. And now D-54 is going to follow up uh, to Novikov, while D-44-100 started the base capture. It is actually a good decision because it is going to weaken enemy forces. At the moment they were moving all together, but at the moment I believe maybe two guys are going to turn around, are going to turn back, maybe maybe more, we'll see. Uh, I can see Type 4 Heavy who turned around, ooh, actually what do you know, D34, Type 4 Heavy and IS-3. Okay, guys, we are leaking tanks. D10 was able to take out 1 to 1. And Type 4 Heavy was able to take out D54. Noviko once again repositioned. And I believe he is going to change his plans a little bit. Because enemy started capturing ally base. I have to say quick reaction and good decision in my opinion. Because D44-100 most likely is going to be dead anyways. I do not know why D44-100 is not already moving. He is simply standing over there. Maybe tracked, but repair kit should be up. 
I really do not understand what D44100 is doing. Uh, this guy is simply going to die. Oh, finally, he started moving and, of course, IS4 was able to pick up the kill. But really good reaction and really good decision by Novikov. 20 seconds left. Let's see if he is able to make it. Uh, D10 and uh, the other uh, type for heavy should be in the capture zone. Novikov has been spotted, so they know where Novikov is coming from. D10, easy penetration, 443 damage done. Are you going to reset uh, type 4 scap as well, or are you going to take out T10? Smart decision once again, because look at the gap. Now he has 50 seconds left to deal with the type 4 heavy. And the uh, heat is going in, of course, guys, because it was 1 versus 5. And uh, sniping type 4 heavy from this kind of range can be really trollish. Uh, so he is not going to take any, <coughs> any chances uh, being 1 versus 4. Type 4 Heavy goes down from 1 vs 5 to 1 vs 3. But enemy team has Type 4 Heavy still alive, D34 that has a lot of HP and IS-4 that has a lot of HP. IS-4 and D34 both were uh, around their own base. D34 is over here, but where is IS-4? We knew that Type 4 Heavy is over here, but where the hell is IS-4? Is he coming from the north side or... I don't know, let's see, 474 damage done. Uh, you were not able to see, Novikov was not able to see Type 4 Heavy before, but thank you for climbing a little bit higher in Tudy Commander Hatchets. Uh, it goes and the kill is secured. IS-4 is over here, that sneaky IS-4 with 1245 HP. That IS-4 is most likely 3 shot for Novikov. Quick snapshot into the lower plate, 509 damage done. Come on, back up, stay calm, IS-4 is coming for you, and IS-4 was not able to take the shot. Reloaded once again, into the tracks, and on the move into the tracks, IS-4 has been tracked, and seems like IS-4 does not have repair kit, so this is going to be the easiest kill in the game, done, 334 damage. He's good enough to pick up the kill, and D-34 over here, only one shot needed, D-34 bounced, and guys... I have to say, this 1 vs 4, this Kolobanov's medal was one of the most relaxed Kolobanov's medal that I have seen. It wasn't easy, because the enemy team had uh, a lot of uh, awesome tanks alive, Type 4s, uh, IS-4 and so on. But Novikov was able to win this battle uh, being 1 vs 5 without receiving any damage doing that. You may say that uh, you didn't uh, see anything super epic. Yes, you actually didn't see anything like a super crazy epic uh, in the end, in the Kolobanov uh, situation, in the 1 versus 5 situation. But uh, this is because Novikov made it look so easy, in my opinion at least. Positioning, uh, reaction coming back right away because uh, he had under 10 seconds uh, to reset the gap when he finally made it up on the hill. And when he did hit that uh, D10, I believe, yeah, under 10 seconds it was left on the clock. So yes, I believe I can say that this was the most relaxed Kolobanov's medal that I have seen for a very long time. And let's see what Novikov 1986 was able to get for this battle. Uh, Ace tanker, 5.5 thousand experience, 113 thousand credits. A Kolobanov's medal, defender, high caliber and top gun. Awesome work. Over 10,000 damage done. Just over 10,000 uh, 10, damage done. Uh, 7 kills, 1,442 raw experience. On the enemy side, IS-4 did good job. One of the type 4 heavies. And Panther 88 in the first position. That was the... Uh, the same Panther 88 that Novikov decided to ignore in the or at the start of the battle. And guys, check out this hit ratio with Russian heavy tank, with Soviet Russian heavy tank. 24 shots fired, 24 hits and 24 penetrations. This was just perfect battle, boys. Perfect battle. Five hits received and only one penetration, and I believe that penetration was from Banter 88 at the start of the battle. All the rest of the guys were not able to do anything. Uh, to Novikov, uh, 2000 damage blocked by armor. Uh, what else interesting over here? For 8 minute battle to get over 
10,000 damage done. This is already awesome and already super good achievement by itself. And uh, yeah, I think that is it about this battle. Novikov 1986. Thank you so much for sharing this battle with me, with us. It actually was really awesome, smart and action-packed battle to watch and to comment. So once again, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this one as well. And uh, before you go, one quick announcement. Uh, starting from today until June 10, so for seven days, I am AFK. I am away from a PC, so that means I am not able to answer to that many uh, comments, uh, but I made a bunch of videos for you to enjoy and to watch anyways. Uh, usually I'm going to check my phone and I'm going to check comments over there, so keep it up, uh, be active and uh, still comment. I tried I try to read at least most of them uh, from my uh, from my phone, but uh, yeah, I am going to do some tripping action. It is not going to be like a vacation, 100% vacation. I have to do some work as well, but but uh, yeah, I am away from my PC for seven days because stuff to do. Uh, but I made a bunch of videos for you to enjoy anyways. So this video that you're watching at the moment is my video number three today and my throat is really, really killing me at the moment. It is actually painful and I believe you can hear that from my voice as well. It uh, may sound a little bit different because I have done so much talking today. It is not even funny. Talking and editing and, and I have done that for for four days now I believe just to make a lot of videos in front so you are not going to miss your hopefully daily dose of death or maybe there is going to be one day without an episode so yeah forgive me guys forgive me for I have sinned <laughs> anyways I hope you enjoyed today's episode I thank you so much for watching for tuning in now you know uh, why I am not answering to every single comment that I usually try to do because you guys are awesome and you guys are huge, huge part of my channel and of my daily life as well, actually, I have to say that. Even though this is just my hobby, you guys know me. Almost like you guys know me. Yeah, I thank you for tuning in. Take care, stay awesome, stay sexy and uh, behave, guys, behave. I am not over here, but I am over here. I am everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Take care and bye.